welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing something I think is exciting. I've always wanted to do a video like this and just try out the service in general. So I've been seeing a lot of other YouTubers do online thrift shopping and I, I was just never drawn to it because thrifting for me, the, like one of the best parts is going to the thrift store and digging and finding those gems. So my initial impression was it's gonna take away from that and I didn't, I didn't really wanna try it. But I started watching videos of hauls and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try it because there's some pretty good stuff on the website. So it's called Thread Up. No affiliation with them, of course, tiny channel. But um, when you go on the website, you create an account. With the account, um, you can input your sizes. So it'll filter it by your size and then you can filter that further. So they have so many different um, categories for, let's say, for example, tops. They have styles, brand, color, price, condition, material, pattern, accents. And then for style, they have so many different ones. Um, so it's really cool how specific you can get because there's so much stuff on this website. Initially, I wasn't sorting it very um, specifically and I was just like scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and I was getting like so annoyed of it. I, I don't know, I know that the stuff is laid out here, but it's so much better to like see it in person. And it only has the stuff on mannequins. Um, it doesn't have like someone modeling it, which I guess that, and I understand why, because it would be kind of complicated for them to do. But at the same time, like you don't really know how anything fits. So it's kind of a gamble, like online shopping. So I got all my stuff. It's cute, it comes in like polka dot packages. And they actually have various, from what I understand, they have various warehouses like across the US. I'm not sure if they deliver internationally, but um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, I got, uh, I ordered my package on March 16th and then everything arrived by March 28th. So it's like about 12 days, which it was longer than the expected delivery, which I was kind of frustrated with because I wanted to film this video. Um, thrifting is better, you get everything the same day. And then another thing is um, everything arrived in three packages so like because there's three different warehouses everything came separately so I was just like I got a package and it made me antsy because like I didn't want to open it until I got like all the packages so I ended up opening them all together and by the time they all came like I felt like I wasn't as excited anymore because I was waiting so long I'm just complaining right now so I'm gonna go over everything with you I'll let you know oh my bra is in this box that is not part of the haul um, I'll let you know um, how much I paid for everything, what the original pricing was, all of that. Let me pull up my order right now. It is cool that they're making, I guess, thrifting more accessible because I know some people say that the thrift stores in their area aren't very good. So this is a way for you to get secondhand clothing um, that is great quality. And then you can also actually sell your clothes to them if you guys are interested in doing that. I've never tried it, so I don't know how exactly that goes. Okay, so the first item, this is, I'm actually really excited about this. So, I wore this last night. I <laughs> couldn't wait. But it is this top from American Eagle. And it actually is brand, brand new. It has a tag on it. And it's really, really good quality. It's so soft. It's a flannel shirt. And I'll show you guys here. I'll also have me trying it on so you'll see how it fits. But this is a size small and um, I was actually looking at this shirt when it was on the website. But the initial price was $35. So that's why I didn't get it in the store. I was like, I'm not going to pay $35 for a freaking flannel t-shirt. So immediately when I saw this, I knew exactly what shirt it was. And I was like, I'm going to get it. And it fits great. It's great quality and... Um, it doesn't really smell like thrifted clothes. I don't know if they wash everything, but I noticed that none of these have like that smell. So maybe they do or like steam them or something. But this one I'm super happy with. And it was like a 65% uh, yeah, 65% off estimated retail. And then if you look at the if you look at the description, they have sizing, they have measurements, they have the materials, they have condition. Um, so it's really cool. They get get into pretty um, pretty deep detail and they have a, they have two photos of the shirt on a mannequin. So that is great. And then I also was looking at their sale items and I ended up finding these really cute earrings. I really want to start wearing more earrings and more accessories. So here they are. I love how they're not just like normal hoops, how they're kind of like three dimensional. But um, yeah. These were like an add-on item at the end. Um, I was trying to get to the certain point of 
having free shipping, which that's how they get you. But um, I knew I wanted accessories, so I added these on. And let me pull up the price for these. So these were $4, which is great. And all of their jewelry is final sales. So that's the only thing you can't return. Um, what's weird though is like in the photo, it's on like the cardboard and everything. But then it just came in a box. I mean, it's not weird, but it's just something I noticed. Next up, so I got three pairs of pants and <laughs> let me tell you, so I'm not that, I should be more in depth with this kind of thing, but I don't usually uh, like measure my waist and look at, look at the description of pants online. I'm usually between a 25 or like a two and a four. So I pretty much know my sizing and it's usually right. Um, but I tend to buy pants in person and with thrifting, thrifting especially, there's so many different brands made in all these different time periods and so I feel like the sizing is always different. Like I have pants that are size 26 that fit me tight. So it just depends on the brand so like you never really know. And so I got these pants and I saw two pairs of pants that were size 4 and they looked, <laughs> should have looked at the measurements, I know. But they looked pretty small so I was like, oh, okay, I'll get those two. And then I got another size, uh, another pair of pants that were size two. Um, so I assumed that they were all going to be like pretty close to my size. If it was a little loose, I was just going to add a belt. So with that being said, the first pair of pants I got were from Ann Taylor, and these are like dress pants. And I've always, I've been wanting a pair like this. They have belt buckles. They're in great quality. Um, they have no, it doesn't seem like they have any like rips or tears in them. And these pants. So these pants were $8, um, which is great for the for a thread up. I want to wear these with like a crop top and maybe some heels and I'm going to probably get it taken in just a little bit on the sides because it's kind of wide for my body and I want it to be a little more slim. But other than that, they fit really well on the waist and I'm really happy with that purchase. These pants though. So I found these pants, these are etc brand I don't know what brand that is alright so these were one of the more expensive items in the haul these were actually $27 and I've been wanting white pants and the reason why I was so drawn to these is because the bottom is tapered and it has um, the elastic which I was like great that's gonna look so good it has buttons on the bottom um, and it's just like I love the pocket detail on this um, these are size 4 and I just assumed that I would be okay with wearing them but these are ginormous on me like I, I you'll see the video of me holding it out in front of my waist but these are way too big and even with a belt it doesn't fix them and I was considering taking them to get taken in but because of all of the pocket details and the stitching I don't think that it's gonna be possible or I'm gonna end up paying so much more money um, and these were already $30 basically so I'm just gonna return these for store credit unfortunately <sighs> and then I got a second pair of pants from Ann Taylor Loft and these are also size 4 and what drew me to these pants was the color and the booty so I feel like pants with this kind of butt they always make my butt look good. I don't know if it's the pockets, how it sticks out or anything, but it always looks great. So I was like, I'm gonna get those. And I love that they're like cargo pants. And they are also tapered at the bottom. They have the um, elastic as well. And then these actually have a zipper detail. So uh, unfortunately, these are size four as well. And I didn't look at the measurements and these are extremely large on my waist. So I'm gonna have to return these also. So the, f the next two pieces are swimsuits and I've heard mixed things about thrifting swimsuits. Some people are okay with it, some people are weird about it, to each their own. I found some great swimsuits thrifting and um, just give it a really good wash and I think that it's fine. So the first thrift, the first thrift, the first swimsuit I got was from a brand called Out From Under. Oh, it's an Urban Outfitters brand, I didn't realize that. So the original price of this swimsuit was $54 and I got it for... $25.99 so again pricey for thrifting um, but like cheap for a bathing suit if you're gonna buy a retail price so it is a one piece it looks really small but actually fits pretty well and I've been wanting uh, a swimsuit this color it's kind of like an orange red I feel like this goes really well with my skin tone and it's gonna help me look very tanned in the summer so this one I'm really happy about and with swimsuits especially it's I 
I am hesitant about thrifting. I mean, I'm hesitant about ordering them online because they could look really great on a model, but like if your body type isn't the same, it might not fit you as well. Um, or like if your torso is a different length, then it might be like too long, too short, depending. My torso is like, a, I guess, longer for it. So it's like a little tight and it has adjustments on it, which is great. So I was able to adjust it and make it fit better. And I actually think this would be really great as a top. You can wear high-waisted shorts with it in the summer. And the only thing that I'm disappointed about is the description doesn't say if it's lined or not. And it does have like some pretty thick um, material. But when I get cold, like I get cold and you can tell. So um, I'm thinking of trying to figure out a way to put some like liner cups inside. I might like cut the inside and like put the cup in and sew it because I need that. They need that protection and I'm going on a family vacation so I definitely need that protection. And then the next swimsuit I got, let's look up the price here. This one is actually a J. Crew swimsuit and the original price is 118 freaking dollars. And I got it for $38.99 which was awesome. And this one also wasn't brand new but it's in like basically brand new condition. And um, that's how it was classified on the website. And again, it doesn't specify if it was lined and I was trying to figure it out from the photos. And the problem is that this one's like a thinner material and it's light on top. So everything is going to show if I rock this. So I'm going to probably put some cups inside. I have these guys. I'm just probably going to stick them inside just like for the time that I wear them. And I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. I might somehow pin them on the inside. I don't really know. but. This swimsuit is super unique. I love the colors of it and I love the cutout. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Just like the other one, I feel like I could rock this with like high-waisted shorts or jeans or like even a skirt for the summer. Like if I'm going on vacation or like at the beach and I think it would go really well. Oh, you remember I was saying that there were different warehouses? Well, in the policy, it says items outside of your assigned warehouse, which I I have one super close to me. I think it was in Arizona. And then the other two I think was I think it was Ohio and Pennsylvania. Um, but those so if it's outside of your assigned warehouse, then there's an extra surcharge, which I did not realize. And then um, you have 14 days to return. So like I was saying, um, you get a free shipping label if you get credit and then if you don't want credit then you either have to pay for your shipping label through them or you could pay for it at the at the post office and then you just pay for the shipping and then you get your money back so i think i'm going to end up just getting store credit because i'm like happy with half of the stuff i got but um hi baby this website has a lot of brand name things and um, I think they like pre-sort their items so you know that they're good quality. They're, there's not going to be anything there with like major stains or rips that I saw at least. But you know, all in all, I, I honestly prefer going to the thrift store because I like digging. <laughs> I like the, the act of like looking for the clothes and like trying on the clothes in person. I feel like you're, you have less room for error in that way, so you know exactly how the clothes are going to fit because, again, these clothes are from different brands, different eras, um, different locations. I don't know if that makes a difference on fit, but all the clothes at thrift store fit differently. You're never going to know, and the sizing is different, so thread up is really cool, but I don't think I'm going to be doing this again other than using my store credit. If any of you have tried online thrift shopping, let me know what your experience was and I think with every account on ThreadUp you have like a yeah so it's like give $10 get $10 so they have like an affiliate program so you can share a link and like whoever uses it will get $10 off and then they'll give you like affiliate credit of $10 to use so I do have that if you want to use it I'll put it down below and then if you start an account you can do that with your friends and family so that's pretty cool and they do have a lot of different um, categories on their platform so they have clothing and then um, they have like designer clothing as well shoes handbags accessories jewelry I'm not oh they have women and kids I guess they don't have men's but maybe that'll come soon or not 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any future video requests, let me know. I love doing these. I love thrifting and um, more videos are definitely going to come soon. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.